What's going on everybody, it's Handles, and Russell Westbrook is arguably the MVP of this NBA season. But Russell didn't get here living the high life. He didn't do it easy. Russell was a 3 star athlete, was ranked 160th in the class of 2006, was never an All-American, never received any major camp invites, and never could even dunk till the 12th grade. His hard work and dedication to the game of basketball it's how we got here today. Hi there, I'm Russell Westbrook. A lot of people want to know just how I became such a good scorer. All I can say is practice, practice, practice. Anyways, this is the story of Russell Westbrook. Russell was born on November 12, 1998, and throughout his entire life, he loved the game of basketball. He played it since he was a kid. But basketball wasn't only Russell's passion. He also played quarterback and a running back for his local football team. But when he entered high school, he centered all his attention to basketball. But the only problem was, he was undersized. As a freshman, Westbrook was 5'8", but had size 14 shoes. This was a clear indicator that Russell's height would end up exploding later in his life. Russell did play for his high school varsity team, but he didn't even start. Russell knew if he was going to go anywhere with basketball, he would have to put in a lot of work. Near the end of Russell's sophomore year, tragedy struck when his best friend, Kelsey Bars, died during a pickup game due to an enlarged heart. Watching your best friend die on court would never be easy on anybody, and Russell didn't take this lightly. Every night he would pray before bed that everyone in his family, his teammates, and everyone he knew would be safe after this moment. Russell even often talked with Kelsey about how they were going to college together to play ball, and the fact that Russell lost his best friend at such a young age really hurt him. But this is where Russell's game started to pick up. Before every game, he would now go before anyone was there to warm up with his dad to make sure his shot was on point. And after working so hard to improve his game, by his junior year, he got his first start on the varsity team. Russell played well, but the only problem was his height. He was so short, he couldn't dunk, his frame was too small for his shoe size, but Russell playing well did take notice from a few low-ranked colleges, and after his junior year, he received a few of those recruiting letters, again from those low-ranked colleges. But this is not what Russell wanted. He wanted to play for a Division I university, and he wanted to be recruited by those top-ranking colleges. But the same summer when Russell received these letters, is when Russell's game would increase dramatically. The summer before his senior year, he grew and grew, and finally reached his adult height of 6'3". He would now dunk with ease thanks to his athletic ability, and in his senior year, Russell averaged 25.1 points, 8.7 rebounds, 3.1 steals, and 2.3 assists, and led his team to a 25-4 record, even scoring 51 points on one occasion. But sadly, this wasn't enough. No top colleges wanted him still, and he was still not ranked very high on any list, being ranked 160th among all high school players. This was hard for us. His career in basketball might have not been even going anywhere. But luckily, one day, Jordan Farmar, who was on the UCLA Bruins, decided to declare for the NBA draft. And so UCLA needed a point guard, and that point guard they turned to was Russell Westbrook. And Russell gladly accepted the offer from UCLA, since it was basically the only offer from a top college he got, and went off to play college for a Division I school. I just want to thank God for giving me this opportunity, and uh, thank my mom, my dad, my little brother, my coach, and all my family members and friends for coming out, see me going to college. Russell's first year at UCLA wasn't the greatest. He played back on point guard to now NBA player Darren Collison, and was primarily used as an energy player off the bench. Russell never saw extensive minutes in his first year and only averaged in 36 games, 3.4 points, 0.8 rebounds, and 0.7 assists per game. Russell got barely any good playing time and wasn't really an option to score at all. Now I don't want to say injuries are good to players, but this injury to another player on UCLA really gave Russell his big chance. In his second year with UCLA, Darren Collison was injured and this resulted in Russell being named the starting point guard. And Russell thrived, dominating games and opponents and led his team to the final four of the NCAA tournament. They ended up losing in the final four, but Russell's amazing performance throughout the season awarded him in being named all Pac-10 third team and Pac-10 defensive player of the year. Russell's dream finally came true. Everybody was recognizing his talents, and this dream season by Russell ultimately led him to be the number 4 overall pick by the Seattle Sonics. 
Then six days later, the Sonics moved and rebranded into the Oklahoma City Thunder. But Russell wasn't done here. By his rookie season's end, he averaged 15.3 points, 5.3 assists, 4.9 rebounds, and 1.3 steals being an on and off starter for the Thunder. He was also 4th in Rookie of the Year voting behind Derrick Rose, OJ Mayo, and Brooke Lopez. Russell started to improve year by year, and in his 2nd year, he was moved to the full time starter for the Thunder, and he was putting career numbers every year he played there. But in the 2016-2017 NBA season is where Russell became a potential MVP after the departure of Kevin Durant. He is now averaging more than a triple double on the season and broke Oscar Robertson's record of 41 triple doubles. And he's even doing it on averaging more than 30 points a game. Russell's come out to be a potential MVP is a dream. He came from a complete nobody in high school and college and then was luckily awarded the starting position in his second year and ultimately led his team to the final four of the NCAA tournament and now is averaging a triple double on the season and is a potential MVP with James Harden. I don't know what to say about Russell's life. All I can say it is a dream come true. It's just crazy to think that if Darren Collison never got injured, Russell may not be the same person he is today. He may not even be in the NBA. And if Jordan Farmer never declared for the NBA draft, Russell may not even be playing basketball right now. Anyways guys, that was the story of Russell Westbrook. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Till next time, I'm Handles and I'm out.